Today, we'll be demonstrating the product setup for the Powermatic 6-inch woodworking jointer. Be sure to reference your instruction manual for important safety instructions, unpacking tips, and cleanup prior to assembly. Once you have the tools required, you're ready to get started. Place the jointer in an area that's level and provides a solid foundation. Make sure that any potential kickback is not in line with aisles, doorways, or work areas. Remove the contents from the shipping cartons. Place parts on a protected surface and remove all packaging materials from the area. Before final positioning of the machine, the bed needs to be attached to the stand. Position the jointer on the stand so that the pulley attached to the cutter head on the jointer is directly above and on the same side as the motor pulley. Use three lock bolts and spring washers to firmly fasten the jointer to the stand. Moisten a soft cloth with kerosene and remove the protective coating from all machined surfaces of the jointer. Place the fence slide base on the fence support. Aligning the machine slot in the fence slide base with the key. Attach the flat washer and two hex nuts onto the locking screw, but do not tighten. Orient the lock handle in position, then tighten the hex nuts with a 19 mm wrench. This is the locked position for the fence assembly. Rotating the lock handle clockwise loosens the fence assembly, permitting you to slide the assembly back and forth. To install the drive belt, place the V-belt onto the cutter head pulley and through the opening in stand. Pull the V-belt down and place it onto the motor pulley. If the belt is difficult to roll on the pulley, loosen the motor mounting screws. Then raise the motor as high as possible and mount the belt onto both pulleys. Allow the motor to drop and create tension on the belt. The V-belt is properly tensioned when finger pressure on the belt halfway between the two pulleys causes one half inch of deflection. To install the pulley cover, place the pulley cover over the opening in the stand. Line up the holes in the stand with the holes in the guard. Attach the pulley cover to the stand using four pan head screws and flat washers. To install the cutter head guard, remove the screw from the guard post. Turn the spring knob approximately one half revolution counterclockwise as viewed from the top and hold. Insert the guard post into the hole in the table, making sure that the spring inside the spring knob engages the slot in the guard post. If needed, slightly turn the knob until the guard seats itself. Thread the screw back into the guard post and check for proper operation. The cutter head guard must return fully to the fence when released. If the guard does not return fully, pull the guard, apply more tension to the spring knob by turning it another half turn counterclockwise, and reinsert the guard. If the guard closes too quickly and strikes the fence too hard, reverse the process. Insert the screw back into the guard post. Install the access door by placing the bottom of the panel in the stand and fastening it with four pan head screws and four flat washers. Attach the dust chute to the base with four machine screws and four flat washers. Be sure to refer to the product manual for important electric connection instructions before operating. If you have any questions, please consult your instruction manual. Any additional servicing to your Powermatic 6-inch jointer should be performed by an authorized service technician at a designated Powermatic service center. Don't forget that your Powermatic tool is backed by an industry-leading warranty. Contact our support team today to find a service center near you.